Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. This is quite a day. I'm not sure why. You know in India when they give people spiritual names they can have a wry sense of humor about it. In fact I remember Yogi Bhajan coming up with some pretty funny spiritual names for people based on a sort of um, a gentle sense of humor and an idea about puns but I won't go into that. In India it can be a little more caustic. Sometimes a spiritual teacher noting a student's propensity towards a particular form of uh, sin will offer a spiritual name that points out that uh, samskara and is at the same time perceived as by the student as a sign of honor, as a badge of honor, which is a bit of a sticky wicket and a trick on the spiritual teacher's part. Um, so for instance, say a um, spiritual teacher should notice in his student a tendency towards lust, a desire for the flesh, a desire to have sex with lots of different people. And knowing that that kind of energy has a quality of redness to it, uh, he might say to the, to the student, from now on I want you to wear red as a sign of your spiritual nature and as at the request of your, your spiritual teacher I'd like you to wear red. So all of their life that person might wear red not knowing that it's a gentle reminder that they should not do the very thing that red inspires a person to do. So this is the heads up about the minds of spiritual teachers in India and the lessons that you've been asked to learn and the things you've been asked to do so that you can look at them in a new light and change your life accordingly if you wish to. Suppose a person, here's another example, suppose a person is given to arrogance because of their many psychic abilities and does not know that these abilities depend upon a legion of negative astral beings that are not very good looking and don't have our good in mind. Well the spiritual teacher might say to them, I would like you to have this highfalutin spiritual name that makes you makes it clear to everyone how, how very superior you are, how very talented you are, and how far advanced along the spiritual path. So the student goes, of course, this is my prerogative. I will take that name for myself. And all their lives, they might use that name not knowing that it's their teacher's way of asking them to be less arrogant people to walk in humility in the ways of God. Well, I think I'll spend the next few days thinking about that in terms of the spiritual name that I received long ago, Dharm Darshankor. Um, Yeah, that's a good thing to think about. I'll see what I come up with.